welcome to the channel. So we know about the lotto situation where she called out a rapper. She didn't say a name. She just said they were going to be on her album. So she called out a rapper for, you know, quote unquote, dropping their nuts on her when it came to them doing a feature on her, you know, for her album. Now, a lot of people suspected that it was Kodak Black. Kodak Black said it wasn't him. Kodak Black tweeted and said, that mulatto girl is not talking about me, homie. I see y'all steady reaching LOL. Sure, they ain't even say a ninja name on that ish. I don't know why the if y'all trying to make a ninja wear that jacket. I'm too fly for that ish, homie. Now, here's where things get a little bit interesting. So, Kodak Black's producer, he decided to call out Lotto. Why would he do that? I don't know. Kodak Black didn't even say anything besides it wasn't me. But let's go ahead and get into it. Producer decided to put this long paragraph trying to expose Lotto and it says, let me fill you in on what this BS with Lotto is all about. She asked for a future in a while back. We charged her our normal rates and she wanted a swap. Since her verse won't really do anything for us, we asked for a swap for our female artist and charged her substantially less. She declined and said she was going to not use the record. Out of the blue, she decided to accept the higher fee and still not offer a swap for our artist. Talk about empowering fellow female rappers. Now she's on some BS that she was made uncomfortable in holding up your album. I know you're not talking about us. You're on that diva-ish. When no one is getting in the car playing your records, your whole album had legal issues. I'm on the email chain. Stop trying to pull this fiction-fueled empathy card for sales. You tried to assassinate my brother's character. I'm going to destroy yours. Also put in his Instagram story, and that's why she won't say a name. She's full of ish. She knows if she keeps things general and for, up for assumption, she's going to get her pity party. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but I'm pretty sure after Lotto see this, we all know she's going to respond. Most likely she's going to respond. Maybe she's going to go live. I don't know, but I will keep you guys updated. This situation then just got messy because if that is true that Kodak did something like that, all she have to do is expose the messages, the DMs. So you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this whole situation down in the comment section below. This situation is just messy and she might even take the song off the album. I don't think so, but she might with all this friction that is about to happen, okay? So like I said, you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And as right, always, thanks for watching. Friends.